Navigating the interface. Welcome to the CROSS video manual. There's a lot to cover, so each exercise will be brief, but it should be enough to get you started. For more detailed information, there are extensive PDF manuals available on Korg.com that can help you dig deeper. We recommend that you follow the chapters sequentially all the way through the first time, pausing when necessary, then later go back to specific chapters. Okay, before we begin, let's restart the cross so we'll both be in the same place from the beginning. Reach behind and hold down the power switch for a few seconds to turn it off. Then press and hold the switch until the display lights up to turn it on. By the way, if the cross is left on but hasn't been touched for a preset amount of time, the instrument will automatically shut off. The time duration can be changed or this function completely disabled in global media mode. Press here to select OK. Let's look at navigating the cross interface. First, holding down the shift and turning the value dial adjusts the contrast. It will keep that setting until you choose to adjust it again. There are five main modes. When you first turn on the cross, you are in program mode where you can select and play individual sounds. Combi mode, short for combination, is where you select and play combined sounds like splits and layers. Sequencer mode, where you can create songs using MIDI sequencing. Holding down the shift button and pressing that same mode button takes you to the global section of global media mode. This accesses parameters that affect the cross as a whole, like master tuning. Holding down the Shift button and pressing that same Mode button takes you to the Media section of Global Media for saving and loading cross data to an SD card, like Sounds and Songs. Pressing Exit jumps back to the Global section. Go to Program Mode. By the way, the programs and combinations used in this video are for example only. If a program or combination used in a particular exercise isn't available, just select another and continue to follow along. Parameters on the screen can be adjusted by using the value dial. Since the only thing that can be changed on this particular screen is the program, the cursor up and down can be used as well. Along the top you can see the tabs of the other pages which can be accessed using the page plus and minus buttons. You use the cursor buttons to access a parameter. Then the value wheel to adjust it. Exit will bring you back to the previous or top page. Function opens up the possible functions available. For example, write program. You can use the value dial or the cursors to go up and down. You'll notice that the screen above the page plus minus buttons indicates that they can be used as well. Go back to write program. The screen above the menu button shows it can be used for the OK command. Press it. The enter button can be used in a few different ways. Currently right is selected, but cursor over to New. Pressing Enter selects this radio button. Cursor over to Piano. This is the category the program will be saved with. When there's an arrow by the parameter, it means that pressing Enter will open up a list. Use the value dial or the cursor up-down buttons to choose from the list. Then press Enter to select it. Press Exit to return to the main page. You may have already connected a damper pedal to the cross. Usually it works as it should, sustaining the notes when the pedal is pressed. However, if your pedal works in reverse, meaning the notes sustain when it isn't pressed, you need to change the polarity, which is done in global. Let's look at that. It will also be a good example of how to navigate the cross menus. Shift and Global Media. Press Menu and go down to G Input CTRL. The G refers to the mode we are in, Global. CTRL is short for controllers. You could select OK, then page to the tab you want, or sometimes it's faster to select tabs, choose the tab you want, and then OK. Cursor to damper polarity. By default, the damper polarity is set to minus Korg standard, meaning negative polarity. If your pedal is working in reverse, then use the value dial to change it. Plus means positive polarity. If your pedal is working correctly, just leave it on Korg. If you did change it to positive polarity, you need to save the global settings. Press Function to access Write Global Setting. If you didn't change the damper polarity, then select Close. If you did, then select OK, and OK again to confirm. <laughs> 